Hi everyone, I am Lab Loy Chong from the National Center for Research on Earthquake Engineering and from the Department of Civil Engineering, National Taiwan University and National Chenggong University. This is my name in Chinese, Zhong Li Lai. Welcome to the course Introduction to Seismic Design of Structures, Lecture 9-2, Design Basis Response Spectrum 2. Spectrum is something related with the structural vibration period T. Response here is structural response. We are interested in structural absolute acceleration because inertial force is directly proportional to the absolute acceleration and seismic force, design seismic force is proportional to the inertial force of the structure. Therefore, for the structural response, we are interested in the structural absolute acceleration. And design response spectrum is the spectrum to be used for the determination of the design seismic force. And design basis earthquake is an earthquake with a 10% of probability of exceedance in 50 years, or an earthquake with return period of 475 years. And here are some terminology. And uh, design response spectrum is uh, related with the location of the structure, is related to the location of the structure. And there are two parameters for the location of the structures. One is a design spectral acceleration of seismic zone for short period structure. In Chinese, the second parameter for the location of the site is a design spectral acceleration of seismic zone for one second period structure. And a one second period is used to represent medium to long period. In Chinese, And there are two parameters for this four distance. One is a near force adjustment factor for periods with constant spectral acceleration. In Chinese, 反应谱等加速度段子, Another parameter for the four distance is a near force adjustment factor for periods with constant spectral velocity. 反应谱等速度段子, Therefore, the design response spectrum is related to the location of the site and also the distance of the site from, from the fault. Another factor, another influence factor is the amplification factor for the site. It is, is determined by the site classification. There are also two parameters. One is site amplification factor for design spectrum for periods with constant acceleration. In Chinese, 反应谱等加速度段子, 公子放大系数. Another parameter is site amplification factor for design spectrum for periods with constant velocity or constant spectral velocity. 反应谱等速度段子, 公子放大系数. And the site amplification factor is determined by the site classification in Chinese, 地盘分类. And there are totally four classes. One is site class one, is used to sp specify hard size. And in Chinese, di lei di pan, jian shi di pan. And for ordinary site, is called site class two. And in Chinese, di lei di pan, pu tong di pan. And for soft, soft site, is called site class three, di san lei di pan, ruan luo di pan. And the fourth class of the site is uh, Taipei Basin, uh, in Chinese, uh, Taipei Pengdi. And the site is classified by the shear, velo shear wave velocity, and in Chinese, Jian Li Po Shu. And shear wave velocity can be estimated by the N value from a standard penetration test, Belgian Guan Yu Si Yan Zi N Zi. And uh, for Taipei Basin, uh, is uh, divided into uh, several micro zones, and in Chinese, Wei Feng Chu, 
and they are totally free microzones for Taipei Basin. And design spectrum can be specified by two parameters. One is SDS, design spectral acceleration of size for short period structure. And S here stands for short period. D here stands for design. S here, capital S here, stands for spectral. And another parameter is SD1, design spectral acceleration of size for one period structure. And one here stands for one period structure. And one second period is uh, used to represent medium to long period range. And D here for design, and S here for spectral. And uh, since uh, we fixed the damping ratio to be 5%, therefore the design spectral, the design spectrum or the spectral acceleration is related to the structural vibration period T. And there are only two, we use only two parameters to, de to specify the design spectrum. And T0D can be calculated from SD1 divided by SDS. And here's the equation for spectral acceleration as AD. And the unit for spectral acceleration is G. And G is the gravitational acceleration. And uh, uh, the curve for the design spectral acceleration is divided into four segments. The first segment is increasing linearly with a structural period T. Therefore, from uh, T greater than or equal to 0 to t less than or equal to 0 0.2 t0d and uh, sad equal to sds times 0 0.4 plus 3t divided by t0d when t is between 0 0.2 t0d and t0d and is constant sad equal to sds is a constant and when t is larger than and equal to T0D and less than and equal to 2.5 T0D and SD1 is SAD is inversely proportional to T therefore SAD equal to SD1 divided by T when T is larger than or equal to 2.5 T0D SAD is a constant equal to 0 0.4 SDS and the horizontal axis here, T, the unit is S and is a fundamental vibration period. And the damping ratio, zeta, is fixed to be 5%, so that the spectral acceleration is only related with the structural vibration period, T. The design spectral acceleration of the site for short period structure, SDS, depends on three factors. One is the location and is specified by seismic zone. The other is the fault distance and is specified by NAD. There's a near force adjustment factor. And the third factor is size classification and is specified by FAD. It's called site amplification factor for periods with constant acceleration. Therefore, SDS is the product of SSD, that's the design spectral acceleration of seismic zone for short period structure. Multiply by NAD, NAD is the near force adjustment factor for periods with constant acceleration. And then multiply by FAD is the site amplification factor for periods with constant acceleration. Similarly, design spectral acceleration of site for one second period structure. And we use one second period to represent the range of medium to long period. SD1 depends on also three factors. One is the location, that's the seismic zone. Another is the fault distance, and then the site classification. Therefore, SD1 equal to the product of three factors. One is S1D, there's a design spectral acceleration of seismic zone for one second period structure and it depends on the location of the size and we use a one second period to represent the range of medium to long period 
and this multiplied by NVD. NVD is a near fault adjustment factor for period with constant spectral velocity. And then it's further multiplied by FVD. FVD is site amplification factor for period with constant spectral, spectral velocity. And the design special acceleration of seismic zone for short period structure and for one second period structure, S1D and, S and SSD, can be looked up from tables according to administrative units such as town, city, or districts. And uh, there are totally four values for SSD. They are 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, and 0 0.5. And the unit for SSD is G, that's the gravitational acceleration. Therefore, SSD can be found by looking up the tables of the seismic design codes. And S1D, there are also four values. They are 0 0.45, 0 0.4, 0 0.35, and 0 0.3. And the unit is also G, that's the gravitational acceleration. Therefore, S1D and SSD can be obtained by looking up the table 2-1 of the seismic design codes. And here's the distribution of uh, design spectral acceleration of seismic zone for short period structure, SSD here, and for one second period structure, S1D here. And the highest value for SSD is 0 0.8 and they are area close to the active fault. The red line here represents the active fault, the location of the active fault. And here, around the area, when the area is close to the active fault, the value of SSD takes the highest one, you go to 0 0.8G. For S, similarly, for S1G, close to the active fault, the red line here, close to the active fault, we have the highest value for S1D, you go to 0.45G. Therefore, here is the distribution of SSD here, and here is the distribution of S1D here. And these two figures are taken from the figures C2-2 and figure C2-3 of the seismic design codes. And here's an example. The site located at Yuishui Township, Hualien County. And the question is then, find the design basis special acceleration of seismic zone for short period structure and one second period structure. That's why we are going to determine SSD and S1D. From the table 2-1 of the seismic design codes, we can look up for the, for the Yuishui Township. Then we have SSD equal to 0 0.8, S1D equal to 0 0.45, and this is close to Huadong area fault. Therefore, we have design that we refer to 475 year return period, special acceleration of seismic zone for short period structure, SSD equal to 0 0.8, and design special acceleration of seismic zone for one second period structure, S1D equal to 0.45. And the near fall adjustment factors, there are two factors. One for the periods with constant acceleration, we call it NAD. Another factor is the period for the periods with constant velocity, NVD. And it depends on, they depends on the distance between the sides and the fault. And we take Cholong Pool fault as an example. R is the distance of the site from the fault. If R is very, very large, if the site is far away from the fault, the factors, no matter the factors for the periods with constant acceleration, NAD, or for the period with constant spectral velocity, MVD, is one. That means that there is no application factor, no adjustment factor when the site is far away from the fault. When the site is close to the fault, that means that R becomes smaller and smaller. The factors, 
the adjustment factor becomes larger and larger. If the distance of the site away from the fault is less than 2 kilometers, NAD equal to 1.23, and VD equal to 1.36. And this table can be found from the seismic design codes table 2-4-1. Therefore, the, close, the closer the fault distance, the higher the factors. And we go back to the example again. Uh, the site located at Yuishui Township, Hualien County, and within 2 km from Yuli Fort. And then the question is to find the design near fault adjustment factors for period with constant spatial acceleration and for periods with constant velocity. Therefore, what's the value for NAD and also the value for NVD? And now from the table 2-4-7 uh, for Huadong area fault, including Uni fault, R is the distance of the size from the fault. If the distance is very far away from the fault, therefore R is larger than 12, NAD and VD equal to 1.0. Therefore, there's no adjustment due to the force. Therefore, the near force effect can be neglected. When R becomes smaller, therefore the size is closer to the force. The adjustment factor becomes larger and larger. And in this case, R is less than 2 kilometers. Therefore, NAD from the table here equal to 1.42. NVD from table 2-4-7, equal to 1.58. So far we summarize what we got. Design special acceleration of seismic zone for short period structure, SSD equal to 0.8. Design special acceleration of seismic zone for one second period structure, S1D equal to 0.45 and design near fault adjustment factor for period with constant spatial acceleration, NAD equal to 1.42. Design near fault adjustment factor for periods with constant spatial velocity, NVD equal to 1.58. And design spatial acceleration of seismic zone with consideration of near fault effects for short period structure, SS parenthesis, parenthesis D equal to NAD multiplied by SSD equal to 1.42 times 0.8 equal to 1.136 and design special acceleration of seismic zone with the consideration of near force effects for one second period S1D equal to NVD times S1D. NVD equal to 1.58. And S1D equal to 0.45. The multiplication of these two values come up with 0 0.4, 0 0.7, 11. Then we go to, we move to a site application factor for period with constant acceleration FA and period with constant velocity and they depends on site classification and we use hard site as reference therefore for hard sites the site amplification factors FA and FV equal to 1 therefore there's no amplification factor for hard site when the size becomes softer the amplification factors FA and FV become larger they will be larger than 1. And from the table 2-2A two of the design of the size seismic design codes, then we can look up for the seismic amplification factor for period with constant acceleration FA. And there are three classes here. Site class 1 represents hard size. Site class 2 stands for ordinary size. And site class 3 Three stand for soft sites. When site when the when the site is class one, FA equal to one. 
because you, we use hard side as reference. Therefore, for hard side, there will be no amplification. And the side becomes softer. Therefore, from class 1 to class 2 and class 3, the size becomes softer and softer. Then, the FA becomes larger and larger. When SS becomes larger, that means that the ground shaking intensity becomes larger. Therefore, the, the soil will become nonlinear. Therefore, that in this case, the difference between hard side and soft side will be much less. Therefore, FA, when the ground intensity is large enough, larger than 0.9, and FA for site class 1, site class 2, and site class 3, all equal to 1.0. And SS equal to NAD multiplied by SSD. And from table 2-2B of the seismic design codes, then we can look up for the site amplification factor for periods with constant spectral velocity FV. And there are also three classes. Site class 1 is hard site. Site class 2 is ordinary site. Site class 3 is soft site. When the site is classified as 1, that means that they are hard, is hard site. Therefore, FV equal to 1.0, no amplification. When the site becomes softer and softer, FV becomes larger and larger. And when the intensity S1, S1 equal to NVD multiplied as 1D, becomes larger and larger, that means that the, the ground shaking intensity becomes larger and larger. The hot side may, be, may enter the nonlinear range. Therefore, the difference between hot side and soft side will be much less. Therefore, the difference between FV, when the intensity is very large, the difference between SV for the site class 1, site class 2, and site class 3 becomes less. And the site is classified according to the mean shear velocity to the depth of 30 meters under the ground. And uh, DI is the thickness of soil layer I, and VSI is the shear velocity of soil layer I, and the unit for Velocity, shear velocity is meter per second, and the unit for the thickness of soil layer is meter. Therefore, di divided by vsi is the time taken for the shear wave to travel to travel soil layer i. Therefore, the summation here is the total time taken for the layer to travel 30 meters, because the summation of the total depth equal to 30 meters. Therefore, the total depth divided by the total time taken, then we have the quotient here, is the mean shear velocity, and it is denoted by Vs30. And the equation can be found by equation 2-5a of the seismic design codes. When the site is harder, the shear velocity becomes higher. When the site be is softer, the shear velocity becomes lower. Therefore, when the shear, the mean shear, velo mean shear wave velocity is larger, larger than 270 meter per second, and it is classified as hard side. When the mean shear velocity to the depth of 30 meters under the ground is less than 180 meter per second, it is classified as soft side. And in between 180 and 270 meter per second is class classified as ordinary sites. Therefore, with a mean shear velocity, we can classify the site as class 1, class 2, or class 3. In addition to measure the shear velocity, and we can estimate the shear velocity by the boring data 
to the depth of 30 meters under the ground. For cohesive soil layer, if the end value, the end value from the standard penetration test of the soil layer I is lies between 2 and 25, then Vsi equal to 100 times Ni to the power one-third. If the end value is less than 2, then the shear velocity, shear wave velocity can be estimated by unconfined compression strength and the unit for QUI is kgf per cm square. Then VSI is the shear wave velocity for soil layer I can be estimated by 120 QUI to the power 0.36. For sandy soil layer, VSI can be estimated by 80 times Ni to the power one third, and I, Ni lies between 1 to, 10, to 50. The harder the site, the larger the value, the larger the end value of the standard penetration test, and the higher the shear wave velocity Vs. And for the softer the site, the smaller the end value of the standard penetration test, and the lower the shear wave velocity Vs. Therefore, Vs is linearly related, positively related to the end value. Therefore, the higher the end value, the higher the shear wave velocity. Let's go back to the example. The site located to Yuishui Township, Hualien County, and found the design that uh, corresponding to 475 year return period. Site amplification factor for periods with constant acceleration and periods with constant velocity. That's to find the value of FAD and FVD. And also find the special acceleration of the site for short period and one period, one second period structure. That's to find SDS and SD1. And the mean shear wave velocity to the depth of 30 meters of the site, Vs30 equal to 661 meter per second. It's larger than 270 meter per second. And it is classified as hard site, that is site class 1. And from our previous line, we have already determined design special acceleration with near force effect for short period structure, SSD equal to 1.136. And now looking up the table, 2-2A of the seismic design codes. Because the site class is 1, therefore FAD equal to 1.0. And SS is larger than 0.9, therefore we have 1.0 for FAD, the site amplification factor for period with constant special acceleration, FAD equal to 1.0. Once we have FAD and we have SSD, we multiply these two together, we can have SDS. SDS is the special acceleration of sites for short period structure, equal to 1.136. Similarly, from the previous slides, we have already got the design special acceleration with near fault effect for one second period structure. S1D equal to NVD multiplied by S1D equal to 0.711. Then looking up the table, 2-2B of seismic design codes for site class 1, and then the S1 is larger than 0.5. Therefore, we can obtain FVD equal to 1.0. Site amplification factor for periods with constant velocity, FVD equal to 1.0. Once we have FVD, we have S1D, we multiply this together, then we can obtain special acceleration of site for one second period structure. SD1 equal to S FVD multiplied by S1D 
You go to point seven eleven. And here's the procedure to determine design spectrum for site class one, two, or three. And the design spectral acceleration for site SD, the unit is G. There is a gravitational acceleration. Step one, from administration unit, town or district of the site, and looking up table 2-1 of seismic design codes, we can obtain design special acceleration for of seismic zone for short period structures, SSD, and one second period structure, S1D. Step two, from the distance of the site away from the active force, looking up tables 2-4-1 to the 2-4-7 of seismic design codes, we can obtain the near force adjustment factors for periods with constant spectral acceleration, NAD, and periods with constant spectral velocity, NVD. Then we move to step three. From geological boring, we can measure or estimate the mean shear velocity to the depth of to the depth of 30 meter under the ground for size classification. Once we have the site class, and then incorporate with SSD equal to NAD multiplied by SSD, looking up the table 2-5A of seismic design codes, we can obtain the site amplification factor for period with constant acceleration FAD. And from site class and from site class and S1D equal to NVD S1D, looking up table 2-5B of seismic design codes, we can obtain the site classification factor for periods with constant spectral velocity FVD. Then step five, design spectral acceleration of site for short period structure SDS can be determined by FAD multiplied by NAVD and then multiplied by SSD. And the design special acceleration of site for one second period structure SD1 can be obtained by can be obtained from FVD times NVD times S1D. Once we obtain these two parameters, SDS and SD1, then we can determine the design special acceleration SS, SAD of the site. And we have two segments here. When the structural period is less than or equal to 0.2 T0D, SAD equal to SDS times 0.4 plus 3T divided by T0D. When T lies between 0.2 T0D and T0D, SAD equal to SDS. When T lies between T0D and 2.5 T0D, SAD equal to SD1 divided by T. When T is larger than or equal to 2.5 T0D, SAD is a constant equal to 0.4 SDS. And T0D can be computed by SD1 divided by SDS. And this equation can be obtained from Table 2-5A of seismic design codes. And let us go back to the example. The site located at Yuishui Township, Hualien County. And the question is to find the design special acceleration of the site. That's to find the value for SAD. So far we have SDS equal to 1.136 and SD1 equal to 0 0.711. From SDS and SD1 we can compute T0D equal to SD1 divided by SDS equal to 0.626 seconds. When T is less than 0.2 T0D, that is 0.1252 second, 
SAD equal to 1.134 times 0 0.4 plus 3t divided by 0 0.626 and SAD is linearly increasing with the structural period t. When t is larger than 0 0.20 t0d less than or equal to t0d SAD is a constant equal to 1.136. When t lies between t0d and 2.5 t0d that's between 0 0.626 and 1.565 second. SAD is inversely proportional to the structural period T equal to 0 0.711 divided by T. When T is larger than 2.5 T0D, there is 1.565 second. SAD is a constant equal to 0 0.4 SDS equal to 0 0.4544. And the unit for SAD is G, that's, that's the gravitational acceleration. And here's the plot of the, of the special acceleration of the site. When T lies between 0 and 0 0.1252, it's increasing linearly with the structural period. And in this segment, the special acceleration is constant, and in this segment, the special acceleration is inversely proportional to the structural period, and in this segment, it's constant again. So far, we have considered the special design spectrum for sites one, two, or three, and we are going to consider the design spectrum for the Taipei Basin. For the Taipei Basin, the design spectral acceleration of the site in Taipei Basin, SAD, is also described by two parameters. And SDS is the same as class 1, 2, or 3. But SD1 is replaced by T0D, and T0D is the corner period between short period and medium to long period. And SDS is the design special acceleration for short period structure. The reason to use a T0D to replace SD1 because for Taipei Basin, T0D is larger than one second. Therefore, we cannot use one second period to represent the range of medium to long period. And for Taipei Basin, the special acceleration is also divided into four segments. And here's the equation for the four segments. For the first segment, T is less than or equal to 2, 0 0.2 T0D. It's increasing, it increases linearly with the structural period T. SAD equal to SDS times 0 0.4 plus 3T divided by T0D. When T lies the structural period, T lies between 0 0.2 T0D and T0D. SAD is a constant, equal to SDS. When T lies between T0D and 2.5 T0D, the special acceleration the special acceleration is inversely proportional to the structural period, T. SAD equal to SDS times T0D divided by T. When T is larger than or equal to 2.5 T0D and is constant, SAD equal to 0.4 SDS. And this equation can be obtained from Table 2-7A of the Seismic Design Codes. And T here is the fundamental vibration period of structure. And the unit for T is second. And the damping ratio of the structure is fixed to be 0 0.05, that's a 5%. And typing 
Taipei Basin is further divided into micro zones. They are Taipei Zone 1, Taipei Zone 2, and Taipei Zone 3. According to the administration unit in Table 2.2-6A, and from uh, Table 2-6C, Seismic Design Codes, once we have the micro zone, Taipei Zone 1, Taipei Zone 2, and Taipei Zone 2, then we can look up from the table to obtain SDS and T0D, and the unit for T0D is second. The softer the site, the larger T0D. Therefore, Taipei Zone 3 is soft, and Taipei Zone 2 is softer with the larger T0D, and Taipei Zone 1 is the softest with the highest T0D. And here is the procedure to determine design spectrum for Taipei Basin. There is a design special acceleration of size in Taipei Basin, SAD, and the unit for SAD is G, gravitational acceleration. Step 1, from administration unit of the site, look up table 2-6A of seismic design codes to get the micro zone, Taipei Zone 1, Taipei Zone 2, or Taipei Zone 3. And then we move to step 2. Once we have the micro zone of the site and look up table 2-6C of seismic design codes to get the design special acceleration of site for short period structure, SPS, and the corner period between short and medium to long period, T0D. Once we have the two parameters, SDS and T0D, then we can from the table 2-9A of the seismic design code to get the design special acceleration of site, and they can be represented by these equations. There are totally four segments. For the first segment, special acceleration increases linearly with the structural vibration period. SDS equal to SAD equal to SDS times 0 0.4 plus 3T divided by T0D. When the structural period lies between 0 0.2 T0D and T0D, the special acceleration is constant. SAD equal to SDS. When the structural period T lies between T0D and 2.5 T0D, the special acceleration is inversely proportional to the structural period T. Therefore, SAD equal to SD1 divided by T. When the structural vibration period T is larger than or equal to 2.5 T0D, SAD is a constant equal to 0.4 SDS. And here's the reference for this lecture. Seismic Design Codes of Building and it's published in uh, 2011 by the Ministry of Interior. And you can download this seismic design code from this website. And here's the video for lecture one in English and in Chinese. Video for lecture two. Video for lecture three. Video for lecture four. Videos for lecture five. Video for lecture six. Lecture seven. Video for lecture eight and lecture nine. And the video for lecture 9 2 is under construction, is the current one. And in this lecture, we talk about design response spectrum for the design basis earthquake. And design basis earthquake is an earthquake with 10% of exceedance in 50 years, or an earthquake with return period 475 years. And uh, the design response spectrum is determined by the seismic zone and fault distance and site classification. And there are site class 1, 2, and 3. Another site class is Taipei Basin. And Taipei Basin and, uh, is further divided into several three micro zones, 
is Taipei Song One, Taipei Song Two, and Taipei Song Three. For site class one, two, or three, we have two parameters for the design response spectrum. One is SDS, the other is SD1. For Taipei Basin, we still have two parameters. We have the SDS, same as the site class one, two, or three. But SD1 is replaced by T0D for Taipei Basin. That's all for this lecture. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.